Because I do have roommates that sleep in the other room. Kind of a bummer, I guess. I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, okay, so I am going to be truthful because I want to be truthful to people that listen to me. This has got to be kidding me. Anyway, uh, pretty much what I want this, uh, this website. Pretty much what I want, not the website, but what uh, pretty much I want this channel to be is something that can expand my creativity such as a friend of mine has got me into a uh, country rap known as the redneck soldiers uh i think they're great i think they're great i really do anyway uh also i want it to be to pretty much be on my critique on certain shows uh i guess you can see at the bottom right now i have supernatural is the best show ever eric Kri kripke you, sir, are a genius. And that is true. I mean, come on, really. I mean, you know, you got like a little bit of burn notice in there. You got like supernatural in there with like demons and werewolves and, you know, Jin and Rougarous. And I mean, yeah, I know the monster names. I'm a dork. I love that show. Screw all y'all. Okay, anyway. So, what you're going to learn about me. Which, my name is Junior, by the way, one of the Tattooed Brothers. Uh, the other one is Cutter, and the other one also is Bones. So, pretty much the show, uh, I am using it as an outlet. Pretty much of what I experience, I am a store manager. Um, you, the human general public, I'm sorry to say, if you fall in this category of anything I say... Um... Sorry about you. Sorry about you. Let call me slash, but you're a miserable piece of shit, and I hope you die. So anyway, continuing with my show, uh, not just my show, but Bones and Cutter. Uh, pretty much the only way I can really broadcast is by playing a game. I did have a camera that I was going to use. Uh, I cannot really ever show my face on this show unless I am quit or fired from my job because I am an assistant manager at a grocery store. Yeah, I said store manager. Yeah, I wasn't choosing my words wisely, so let's not just get technical, okay? Um, there's many things I gotta say about miserable human beings, how you gripe, piss, and moan when we don't have a certain product. I don't know why you can't go to another fucking store. Uh, second of all, the people that are probably going to comment on this are going to be like, Oh, you're a bitch, or you're just a little punk-ass bitch. Uh, no, you're probably one of the general public certain subjects that I'm going to talk about. Okay? You want to call me a little pissy son of a bitch? I'll let you put on the badge. I will give you the keys to the fucking store. And I will let you have my job for a fucking week. And you know what you got to do? You got to put on a fake-ass fucking smile and kiss everyone's ass that comes in that store. What I'm about to say, the things you hear me say on this show, the things you hear me talk about on this show, you will never know it's me because you will never see my face. And two, I am the most friendliest person with the best customer service that you have ever seen. And pretty much my store manager has told me that. No, I don't have a big head. Just when I go to work, I give 110%. Uh... Pretty much when that term was made, uh, back then people were friendly and actually more mature than they are now. I'm not going to go into that. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure you people want to see my gameplay. Back, the thing is, um, this is the first time I've actually rented this game. I might actually keep it. I got it out of a red box, and if I like it, I'm probably just going to keep it. But... Uh, my gameplay is not the best. I mostly use this for my outlet of anger. And, um, I just want to say, general public and anyone that's a human being, you have drove me to drinking, so, uh, congratulations to you. I mean, people who go into a store... Get an item, and even if they walk five feet away, they cannot walk the five feet back and put it in the same fucking spot. 
How hard is that? Or in your little mind, do you just think, Oh my god, the workers will do it. Yeah. Oh my god, seriously. And people who put stuff in frozen food that do not belong in frozen food at all. Something is wrong with you. Um, you're going to hear me talk about these certain things through the show. Uh, I enjoy the gameplay. Like I said, I'm not the best, but I do try and give 110% because I love these type of games. Uh, so sit back, relax, enjoy, and enjoy a person's rant when I think about it. Okay, so I don't know who can hear my broadcast. I'm pretty sure you saw that I tried to mute some of these people. Um, I'm just doing it out of respect because I'm the type of person that... I know you don't want to hear my shit. I know you don't want to hear me keep talking. Uh, if I find out how to mute myself while I'm on this show, I will do so. But apparently it's not going to be anytime soon. And I was shot, of course. trying to find a way to mute people because I'm trying to have a little respect, but apparently I can't do that, so I'm sorry. Um, anyway, so uh, during this show, like I said, I'll talk about what I do at a store uh, back in the 1820s or a little bit back uh, before World War I, definitely. There was a guy over in England who put out his store. The customer is always right. I can't fucking tell you. You talk to any store manager, any assistant manager, in any store, and they will tell you that is not fucking true. The customer is not always right. Now, some of the times they are, but when they want to be fucking dickheads, mm, yeah, they're not always right. Guarantee it. We have rules to go by, and we're just doing our jobs, and you want to bitch at us. Wow, don't bitch at us. Bitch at the fucking corporate office. That's what they're for. They run the company. They know what to do. They know what to say. They'll kiss your ass because I know there's been things like, okay, for instance, here's a story. A lady came into our store, right? She didn't like some sandwiches that she bought from the deli Enemy UAV. because Enemy apparently UAV. we didn't make them right because our person in our deli is not a chef. Okay, first of all, our people in our deli go buy a book of how to build a sandwich, a sub sandwich. This bitch bought, I don't know how many sub sandwiches, but she was not pleased with them because they had mold on them. Okay, yeah, bitch, you would've got there sooner. You should've inspected it. I don't know, you know, keep your receipt. That's all I'm saying. This bitch did not keep her receipt. I said, I'm, and she's like, I said, well, how much, do you remember how much it was? She's saying like 14 fucking dollars. Okay, lady, um, if you don't have your receipt, I am not refunding you tw uh, some over $20. Okay, these rules have been in place for my ass to follow. No receipt, over $20, I ain't giving you a refund. You know? Keep, keep your receipt, bitch. She says, okay, fine, I'll call the corporate office. Here's what pissed me off. Corporate office. Okay, check it out. I have been trained 
by their standards of how this store wants to be run. I tell this woman she ain't got no receipt. I can't just go off of something how much she thinks we owe her back because her sandwiches were bad. She called the corporate office. She whined, pissed, bitched, or moaned, or whatever this bitch did. I don't give a shit. Anyway, corporate office calls back and says, She's coming back to the store. We owe her $15 and an apology. Bitch, I ain't apologizing to your ass. If you're stupid enough to forget your fucking receipt and buy something bad, I don't give a shit. Management told me to say no to that type of stupid shit. She was like, I work at a restaurant. I know how sandwiches should be built. Okay, well, by the health department, we have a sandwich book, too, of how a sandwich should be built. So, if it molded, it's because it was just too old or it was just, you know, it was before his time. I don't give a shit. You just need to fucking buy something else and be satisfied with it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you're dead. Come on, you're going to come out. I know you are. Yeah! What now, bitch? Underneath the truck. I mean, come on. You think I'm not going to be that smart? Anyway, I, I, I get, sorry, I get a little loud. I, I am trying to be low because I do have people sleeping in the room next to me. I just got a little excited. Anyway, um, it, just enjoy the show. Uh, I will play different games when I go on one of my little rants. I uh, figure it's a great way of prescription other than the prescription I to take. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry.